G'day guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to unlock the bootloader on your Poco F3. Now, to do that, you're going to need a SIM eject tool, a USB cable, to type, or type C USB cable, use the one included in the box. You will also require a SIM card and a laptop. So to begin with, I will take out a SIM card out of my old phone, Poco X3 and put it into the POCO F3. So you do require a working SIM card to at least pair your Mi account to your phone. So you do require a bit of extra software as well. If we go here, so I haven't actually started this one up yet, or well, I've just finished starting it up. Hopefully the IPA or the AMOLED display gets caught pretty well on the camera. So I'm just going to ignore everything here and want to get into settings if it will let me in. So first of all, we need to go to Mi account, sign in with the Mi account or your phone number. So I will just take this away just for a second while I enter the details. You will also need to enter these same details on the computer using the unlock software. Checking, 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 adding, 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 added, got it, allow, 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 I'll turn off sync, I'll turn off find my iPhone, I'll find my device, sorry. Once we're at this screen, we're about halfway or halfway done on the phone. There is a few more steps we still have to do. Now, if I remember correctly, the next one we need, if I can remember how to get to it. No. We need to unlock developer options. There we go. Just keep tapping on me, you, me I, UI version until it says you are developer. Then we can go back, scroll down. I believe it's under additional settings and developer options. So from here, we are looking for OEM unlocking. We want to enable that. Yes. One other thing we do need to do from here is go to the Mi Unlock Status. Tap on that. And we need to allow it to have permission. So we go Agree. Uh, where is it? We lock devices to make sure they are secure and personal info isn't disclosed to third parties. If you need to enter fast, if you need to enter fast boot and flash your device, unlock it first. Remember, you won't be able to use the Find device after the phone is unlocked. So once you've done all this, we'll go preparing to add account and device. Added successfully, me account is now associated with this device. So from here, we can move on to the next stage. So also you do need to have Wi-Fi off on your phone when you do this, as mentioned here, add account, and now we need to go and un download the unlock tool and put this into fast boot mode. So let's do that right now. So now from here, we're gonna to have to go to the Xiaomi Unlock tool and download that. If I can get to the correct website. If I go back to my phone, we have to go to unlock.update.miui.com. It will help if I have the URL spelt correctly. There we go, so we're leading to a Chinese site from here. We'll go to unlock now. We'll download the Me Unlock tool. It should be fairly small in size. 
as it is right here. And we want to extract all the files, so I'll make a new folder. It's called Xiaomi or Xiaoyu. I'm going to copy and paste all that into there, which should extract it. Once we're in here, we'll go with... Uh, the only application that's here, so we'll double click on it. No, that doesn't seem to be what we want. Funnily enough, it doesn't look to be the correct one. Download, shut your phone down, connect. Yep, we did download the right one. I'll try this a different way. So I'm going to go sign in. And this should allow me to enter my details. There we go. So here you do need to enter the same account that you've already entered. There we go. They're going to send a phone, uh, a message to the phone. And then from here, enter the code that you just received. So I received the code of 639666. Submit. Okay. So it said it wasn't the right code, but it has still signed me in. So I'm going to proceed forward from here. So what we're going to have to do from there is now put the phone that has got some horrible banding on. Let's try and fix that up. Anyway, I'll skip that. So what we want to do is switch off the phone. So power off the phone. And hold volume down and power. Volume down and power. And we should be able to enter fast boot mode from there. There we go. As you can see, we're now in fast boot mode. And what we're going to do from here is connect the phone up with your charging cable that was included in the box. Just to any USB port on your machine. So I've now plugged that in. And if I go refresh on the Me Unlock tool, you should hopefully see the phone. If not, we will then require to potentially install some drivers. So if I right click, go to Device Manager, see how we've got Android written here. So right now it's detecting the phone, but it's not talking to it properly. Have a quick look around in the Oh, we downloaded. Nope, we don't have what we need there. Unlock tool driver. So what I'm gonna do is just download a different version, which should include hopefully a better way to do it. Considering the, the, the factory one that it sent us to, it looked very odd compared to the previous versions I'm used to seeing, like this. So this one here is looking a bit more familiar. So if I close the unlock tool, actually I'll leave that open. I'm just going to go driver install 64 bit. Run as admin, run yes. And we should get a pop up box in a second. I'm 
No, we are not. I'll close this. As you see here, we have a different me unlock tool. Which is typically the version I would expect us to be seeing. Do we got to sign back in once more? Now, I'm not sure if it will send another code. Also do note that the unlock process does usually take about a week. There we go. Driver install, driver install, yes please. Connect to your device again. So I've just unconnected it, reconnected. Here we go, installing driver. Driver installed successfully. So that should show up, I'm not sure which device it will show up under. Close this, I'll be happy with that now. I don't know why the me unlock tool sent me to here, which seems very weird. But I'm going to close this, go back to the first one that I loaded with the batch unlock tool. As you can see, it spotted the phone from there. So from here, if it's classified as locked, all I should have to do is click unlock. It's already signed into my account. There we go. So right now we do have a message, which is pretty normal. So it's got, please unlock 168 hours later and do not add the me account again. So what you're gonna to have to do from here is literally wait that 168 hours before you can unlock your bootloader and to be able to put on a custom ROM. But once that's done, we should be able to proceed with this and unlock that bootloader and go from there. So I've just fast forwarded a week and as you see, it sees my phone. I'm gonna go unlock and it's coming up with unlocking now. And the phone is restarting, which is very good. And hopefully, as you see here, we did just have a percentage come up and we have an unlock symbol at the top here. So right now you would have successfully unlocked your bootloader and from here, or at least in time, we'll be able to put on a custom ROM. As of right now at this time of recording, there's currently no custom recovery or t fully working twerp, but there is a fast boot installer of the Xiaomi EU ROM, which is what I'm going to proceed to do now. So, hopefully with your bootloader unlocked, you're ready for the future when you want to install a custom ROM. But for now, I'm going to catch you guys later. See yous!